Thera is a professional organization. I've had the honor to be a part of the leadership team for quite some time in the past. And it's an organization that serves all faculty athletics representatives across the entire association. So all three divisions. And every FAR is automatically a member of FARA, the Faculty Athletics Rep Association. You don't have to pay dues. You don't have to assign annual memberships. You're just a part of the group as being a member of um, an FAR on your campus. And so FAR supports, or FARA supports FARs in a, in a variety of ways. We have a wonderful professional opportunity in our annual meeting every fall, and this serves also as a really strong networking opportunity. Our website provides a lot of up-to-date resources. It has best practices, examples of great programming that can be done on campuses and in conferences with, with lots of details about that programming. We also do a lot of topical updates through the FARA Voice, which is a monthly newsletter, and that highlights not only association-wide issues that FARs need to be aware of, but also has a very division-specific subset, and so it's, it's completely applicable to each division, and particularly Division Three, and the details that um, need to be there to support Division Three FARs. And really, FARA provides a voice, the faculty voice, to the NCAA. So we are often asked for feedback on important NCAA issues. Um, FARA members serve on the Division III FAR Advisory Council, which is a direct advisory group to management council in Division III. And so we really do have the ability to share the faculty voice and how um, Academics is, is such an important part of our student athlete experience and make sure that that voice is heard. And so it's really an opportunity to be engaged with, with FARs across the country and also um, with the association. So it's really a, a great professional development opportunity. So we would encourage you to seek that financial support and academic release from your campuses. Uh, some of the strong things that can be shared with your campus administration about why it's important to attend the fair annual meeting is not only is it an opportunity for very specific professional development associated with your role as an FAR on your campus. It provides that networking opportunity that I mentioned, which is incredibly powerful uh, to support you throughout the entire year and what you're trying to accomplish on your campus. And third, it provides an opportunity to gauge other um, input from FARs across the country about things like legislative review, which is an important piece that we do at the FARA annual meeting so that you can take that information, <clears throat> excuse me, back to your campuses and share the faculty view on legislation that the NCA will be voting on um, at convention every year. So FARA started the conference liaison program in an attempt to easily communicate and more effectively communicate with FARs at each individual member school. And so every conference has a liaison. So I would encourage you to make sure you know who your conference liaison is. And when we have important information that either needs to be disseminated out to the general membership or that we need feedback on because when we're asked for feedback on important association issues at the NCAA, we often want to get that feedback from the FARs across the country. And so we'll use the liaisons to send out a correspondence. It'll come directly from them, someone in their conference. So the FARs are getting something from a colleague in their conference and um, providing that feedback or providing that information. So I encourage you to know who that conference liaison is in your conference. And when an email comes from them regarding an issue with FARA, it's usually important. We don't send them out very often, but it provides a way for you to get that information in your hands in a very seamless manner. So when appropriate, the FARA um, organization has a number of committees and of course has an executive committee that, that leads the organization. So when time permits or when, when it's appropriate for your own professional um, interests, we are certainly excited and welcome and open to having new FARs serve on those committees, whether they're ad hoc committees about specific 
individual issues that that Farah is addressing or the executive committee, which serves as the leadership team. So the Farah opportunities are through a nomination process. And when the time is right, um, we certainly welcome those nominations. Well, the best thing about FARA is really the opportunity to engage with other FARs that share similar goals and similar excitement for the role that the FAR does on a campus and, and in a conference. The networking opportunity, meeting other people who really have a passion for supporting the student athlete and the experience that they're having um, is inspirational and it provides a great way for, for you to gain ideas, for you to gain support for those ideas, and for you to gain even mentorship as you explore new ways to um, empower and encourage your student athletes on your campus.